Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an intro of a new project pan. Um, this is going to be the Drop 10 Before Summer project pan. It is a collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies. I actually did this project last year. Um, this project is unique because it um, you can choose to 10 pan product, 10 pan, 10 products. Um, they can be anything beauty related. Um, they're supposed to be summer themed, but like that's kind of hard to do sometimes. So not necessarily it can be just beauty. And then also um, you can choose to also um, try to lose 10 pounds. Last year I attempted the weight and the products and I was very unsuccessful with the weight. But um, I will tell you I have been on a diet for the last two months and I've already lost quite a bit of weight. Um, so I don't need to do that anymore. Um, so... I'm only going to be participating in the product portion of this project. Um, I am still about, as of when I'm filming this, I am uh, about five pounds away from my goal weight, so I guess I could try the five pounds, but I'd just rather do that on my own personal time. I, it's a little triggering, like, for me personally, just to talk about, like, I don't know, I'd just rather not. So anyway, I'm only going to be talking about um, the products today. I will tell you since, um, I think I've said, I will tell you like 8,000 times, so sorry about that, but... Um, basically, um, this is going to be very non-makeup, like, product heavy because of the virus. Like, I, there's no point in, like, wearing makeup around my house because I live alone, um, for now at least because my roommate's not here. But, yeah, there's really no point in me wearing makeup. So, I, I focused this more on, like, skincare and, like, self-care type things. So, I hope you don't mind. Um, I understand if, like, this is not that interesting for you, because some people just only like wa watching makeup products. So, if you would like to just watch makeup products, I have, um, I'm in several different projects, um, I think three other ones, three or four, um, that have, like, are very makeup-based, so you can just go watch that, those videos if you don't like this one. But anyway, I do have one makeup product, um, the, I'll start off with that, just in case. Um, so I have the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Lip Liner. It's in the shade Rose. This is actually my favorite lip liner I have. And it is, I have that much left. I think I bought this um, maybe sophomore year. So it's my, it's probably two years. Eh, I don't know. Maybe that was, I think it was the summer after my sophomore year. So it's probably about two years old. Um. And I marked it on the cap, that's how much is left. And I just want to completely finish it. I um, did, I am on a low buy and um, I did purchase a lip liner in a similar color. Um, it, the, I, th I guess, I think it was a Becca lip liner um, because the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, they had it on sale and it looked very similar and I love this one. And I don't think L'Oreal has this line anymore um, as far as like, cause I just love how you can like, ooh, I never knew that was there. There's a sharpener on the other end, and I've had this for two years and never knew it. But, um, basically, I love how you can roll it up and down, um, because I hate it when, like, you can only roll products up and not back down, so that's annoying, but, um, I am, I love this, and it just, like, is the perfect tone for me. Um, I am having, like, my lip issue right now, so I think I'll be able to start wearing lip products again in two weeks, so I do plan on, like, using this a lot because um, I just want to finish it. The second product is going to be my Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Wrinkle Recode um, Serum. I have been using this a little bit, um, but it is pretty full. Um, I only really put this on my forehead before bed. I do have some forehead wrinkles. I don't know if you can tell like right here. Um, so I've been using it for that. And I actually just got this as a free sample from Ulta. So I had no idea how much it costs, and whenever, I actually, I've been using it for a little bit, just on and off, and I do really like it. I haven't seen really a big change in wrinkles, per se, but it feels nice, and it feels bougie. I just didn't know how bougie it was, and um, I saw it on the 21 Days of Beauty, because it was like a beauty, it wasn't like the 50% off, but it was 30% off, and it was literally, even with the 30% off, I'm pretty sure it was like, I can't remember, it was either 60 or $80 with 30% off. So I was like, eh, I guess I'm never getting that unless I'm like loaded, which is very not happening right now. So yeah, when I use this up, that'll be the end of that unless I get another free sample somehow. But 
I am excited to use it. I think it'll be really nice and it just feels nice. And that being said, um, I have been doing more like nighttime skincare-ish stuff. So the next thing is also skincare-ish. It's the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. And um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start using it. I haven't really used it. I think I used it once. Um, I can show you how much is in there. It's like full. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to put this on before bed. Um, just under my eyes. Like where you would normally put concealer, I guess. And see how much of it I can finish. My goal would be to finish it completely. But I don't know if that will happen. Just because... I'm covering such a small area of my face, and um, this project is only three months. I don't think I said that. The project is, um, oh, I also didn't, I'm always so bad at collabs. Like, I forget, I sometimes forget to say, I already said this is a fantastic ladies collab, but I will link the other ladies doing this project in the, um, like, description box. But this one goes from March 20th to June, or, or, or 21st of March 2020 to the 21st of June. And I know I'm late on uploading this. Um, I just like had a lot going on because my school transitioned to online. So it's been stressful. And also the virus is just making me anxious. So yeah, um, I'm using that as an excuse. I know it's kind of bad, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about. Um, the Yeah, the, that's about all the makeup and skincare. The rest are kind of like more body care type stuff oh i guess i guess this is sort of skincare ish um the next one i'm going to be using is my clinique city block purifying charcoal cleansing gel um i'm just going to put this in my shower and use it as my face cleanser um i am currently finishing up the current face cleanser i'm working on it's just like the cheap equate a grapefruit it's like the knockoff of the Neutrogena, Neutrogena one that's the one I've been using um but after that that one's like on its last leg and so I'll switch to this one after that one's gone and then I'll go ahead and do yeah the rest is kind of like body-ish care so I'll do the more interesting ones first the the, the next one is the um aloe soothing face and body mist I got this at TJ Maxx I don't remember how much I paid for it I think it was like I don't know I really don't know but anyway, it's a 95% um, aloe mist, and all the writing is in Chinese, so I don't really know. It just, I've been using it, I've been um, using it if I have like a slight burn from tanning or just in general. I put it all over my whole body, and um, I've only been using it for like the last week or two, but that's where I'm at right now. And I don't think it's realistic to finish this within three months but if I can make it to the halfway point uh, I will be very happy so if I can make it anywhere between like where this box is I'll be happy because I think that's about halfway about right there anywhere in this vicinity I'll be happy that's a lot of product to go through so yeah that's my goal on that one and by the way the brand is I think it's called it's skin I'm surprised this says expires 2021. So that's nice. I, I figured like most of the time when stuff is in TJ Maxx, it's like already expired. So that's nice that it's not expired yet. But anyway, so then the next thing I'll be talking about is similar. It is the Sunburnt Daily After Sun Lotion. And I'll be using this. This is absolute miracle worker. This is so much better than any aloe vera you can buy. I promise this is incredible. It is very hard to find though. Um, when I got this, I got this like a year or two ago at Walmart. And um, no, sorry, my dog was growling. No barking. And um, it's incredible. I will tell you, it heals your sunburn so fast. And I turned like a lot. No, I burn like a lobster. So it's got uh, canandula, echinacea, aloe, cucumber, wakame, and um, coconut oil. So there's not a whole lot left in this. I think I, I really can't tell because you know of course I can't see through the packaging but I think we're like not having too much left so I'm just gonna save this for whenever I get my like because usually I get like a few bad burns um because I do get tanned but I have to burn to tan so it kind of sucks and it's not like I'm trying to burn it's just like it happens so yeah I'm I'm gonna use that for when I'm burned 
Then um, the rest are all lotions. Um, I have had these lotions, three of the four, since elementary school. So obviously I'm an adult now and uh, they need to get out of here. So this, this first one is my, it's an Ed Hardy Born Wild Shimmering Body Lotion. It smells amazing and it, shim it has like a shimmer in it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this. I've been um, kind of like, I use this as my like special occasion lotion, but I need, I need to not do that because obviously it's like way past expiration. Um, and I actually got this as a gift, so I think that's another reason why I've been like saving it for special occasions. But I also just need to use it because I've been looking at it too long. But how cute is that packaging? You can't tell me that's not cute. It's too cute. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this. And um, I'll try to wear this on days where like people are actually going to see me. The other lotions I have in this project, I don't care. I'll wear them like on a normal day. But this I'll wear if like I'm going out on like a date or like just anytime where I want to look a little bit better okay and then the next one I'm going to talk about is this um, secret wonderland body lotion I'm pretty sure I've had this since fifth grade but anyway it's uh, right here right now and we're just gonna finish her up um, I can't, I will tell you I go through body lotion really quickly in the summer um, I used to lifeguard I lifeguarded for four years and if your skin is moisturized you don't really burn um, your skin. Well, this someone told me this. I don't know the scientific accuracy of this, but what I've been told is when your skin is dry, that's when you burn like the most. And if your skin is moisturized, you can still burn, but it's not going to be anywhere near where you used to burn. And I have actually tested out this theory because I love guarded for so many years um, because like, I found that whenever I was using like a high SPF sunscreen, I would not tan and I just like, it was sad because I wanted to tan. So whenever I used the um, lotion instead of sunscreen, I'm not recommending this by the way, you should use sunscreen because you know, cancer, but, uh, and also, you know, your skin to look younger. But I'm just saying, just in case you were wondering, um, this will help you not burn as bad. And also, it's just nice to be moisturized in the summer. I get really ashy legs in the summer, so it'll be super nice. Anytime I'm wearing shorts, I'll be wearing lotion. Anyway, Secret Wonderland. It's not, yeah, so I, I'm not, I don't want, I won't have a problem finishing that. The next one is Dark Kiss Body Lotion. I think this one's even older than the other one. It looks a little weird inside there. But yeah, I just need to finish it. I know you might be like, that's too easy, it's too small, but like, let's be real girlfriend. I've had this since like fifth or sixth grade that needs to be used. And if I've had it that long, I need an excuse to use it. So I'm using this as my excuse. And then um, lastly, this is my 10th product, is this Love and Sunshine um, Body Lotion. And this one is not 8,000 years old. I actually was just given this this year. My, one of my friends didn't want it. She said she didn't like the smell that much. So I personally didn't use all this. This is out of her usage, but it smells it smells really nice and summery, and I'm excited to use it. Um, you know, you can see like the difference in the caps. Like this is the old packaging, and this is the new packaging. So you can just tell how old these are. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, and I'll save this one for last. I want to finish the older ones first, just because that makes the most sense to me. And this one's not expired, so I'll use this one last. I do have, I still have quite a few, I still have quite a bit of lotions to go through. But after this, that will get rid of all the rest of the lotions that I have in my collection besides these have been purchased since I've been in college. So they're no longer 8,000 years old. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, literally 12 years old. So that's lovely, but it's okay. I know that a lot of um, painters have lotions that are just as long. Um, Paula from a, a Beauty Guru made me do it. Um, she's like one of my fave painters and she has some really old products. So it makes me feel good that um, I'm not the only one who has really old stuff. So anyway, um, that being, oh, by the way, I would say if you had products that's old, don't put it on your face. 
Um, I just don't care because I honestly am not that acne prone and I just put it on my body So even if it breaks me out, I don't care because like no one sees it because I'm so single <laughs> Anyway, um on that note y'all have an amazing day or night and you have a wonderful time and I will See you next time. So anyway, God bless. Bye